Well, hold on. Give me a second. Uh, I should have done this earlier, but uh, Connor, you and uh, MJ talk real quick. Daddy's got to pee. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go offense rookie of the year. I would love for you to elaborate more on that. Just being a biased Bears fan, pick Bruce. So, oh uh, Lord, I'm down. How are you talking about this? Just All give right, so, give us some education. Education, come on now. It's Caleb Williams. Stuck. No, um, like genuinely. Oh my I, gosh! I, oh my gosh! I can't. I can't say anything. I'm just like, what? Go, go, go! <laughs> Xavier Worthy on the reverse. This offense oh is goodness. nasty. Dude. The oh my NFL gosh, is oh. screwed. Dude, all I need. I already have two of my three freaking. Uh, what's and that was the big boy one, right? That was that was the big money. No, one, I got right? the big boy one. Huh? That was the one that wins you like a good amount, a ch- good chunk, huh? Right? Yeah, that's a three hundred and forty yeah. bucks. Mm-hmm. My bullshit one wins me like four hundred something. Dude, all right. All I need is Lamar Jackson. I need Lamar Jackson over forty six and a half yards rushing. That's all I need. Oh, Gosh. Whew. All right. Anyway, let me finish my uh oh, sorry about it. sorry. My bad, Connor. My bad. I'm... Ladies and gentlemen, my, my fault. We're, we're just pumped right now. It's NFL football season, betting season. Let's have some fun. All right. So I um God. So a little factual information. Um, I didn't know what Connor was gonna drop us. Uh I mean, I knew we were gonna talk about this, but um, one of the things I actually do like about him is, and the, these aren't going to be statistical information, just so you guys know, it's going to be MJ Chagrin is the eye test, the eye, eye test, eye vision, like, you know, everything I see, what he's doing and everything he's talking about, whatever. Um, he has been trying to get to this position, um, and I this position, starting quarterback, first round, first pick, first round pick his entire life. He's done everything he possibly can do in a way that has been the most humble way about it with the expectation of him being a number one pick to make it to the NFL at a quarterback level. And it's it's kind of cool to, and I had those second thoughts. I had those things that I was like, you know what? Okay. Maybe this guy's going to be kind of a douche or whatever. They, they creep into my mind a little bit, but overall, Everything that I saw from him, everything at USC, whether that be him being upset after he lost a close game, I, I, I think it was against Utah, and crying in the fans with his, to, or crying to his mom in the stands. So what? If my mom was still around to this day. And I talked about this on one of the previous shows like months ago. I would have done the same thing if I could do that, do that and hang out with my mom again. It'd be great. Uh, oh my God, he paints his nails. So what? We also have Dennis Robin and Jim McMahon doing stupid shit like that here in Chicago. All right. Um, all right, so he's a terrible leader. First first quarterback or first rookie player in Bears history to get voted on as rookie or excuse me, captain of, of the team. All right, so let's, let's keep going. Uh, the athletic writers have written him, I think, out of 32 votes, he had like the vast majority of them. I can't remember the, the number. My phone's over here, so I'm not going to look it up. Um, vast majority of them to say that he's going to be rookie of the year. Okay, so there's, there's like your stat or I guess your attempted thing. I just, I just really liked seeing everything about him right now and the growth that he's making. Here's the one area of concern that I have for him, and it is that area of holding the ball on too long to get the big play. Just especially in the NFL, just take the dump off. If it's there, just take the dump off. Just it, like don't don't if, if the first read, second read's not there. All right, cool. Just go dump off. Don't try to do something too crazy. Don't hold on the ball too long. Just do that. Um, I I just think that he's just gonna. I think he's gonna snap. I think he's gonna be a different type of player that the Bears have never had. And I think that. Uh, oh man, I'm just hyped, dude. It's gonna be a fun year. I think it's gonna be a great year. I, I, they're gonna surprise a lot of people. Again, I think there's gonna be three playoff teams. 
uh, in the NFC North this year. And I think the reason why the Chicago Bears are going to be one of those playoff teams is namely because of Caleb Williams. MJ. Rookie of the year? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, yeah. Offense. NFC rookie, rookie of the year. Yes. No, offensive rookie of the year, right? Oh, yeah. Not because it's it's not split up by NFC. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not just uh, I was no. Bruce was just saying that because he wants Caleb Williams to win. That's fine. Um, it's gonna be an NFC player, but it's gonna be Malik Neighbors. I'm sorry, Bruce. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry to do it to you. And and part of that, it's okay. It's okay. You're wrong about a lot of things. (laughs) That's talk about his bet. Talk about his bet too, MJ. His bet with Jaden Daniels. I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, I don't want to interrupt it because it's bad. For no, you're good. But it's okay, him it's and okay, Jaden Daniels now have a bet that they owe the other person ten thousand dollars if either of them what? wins offensive player or offensive rookie of the year. What they made a ten thousand dollar bet because they both who? went to LSU. Jaden oh, Daniels and Malik Neighbors. Oh, they I have a ten thousand dollar bet. Okay, MJ, sorry. It's definitely not Jaden Daniels. That's for sure. Um. And it's definitely not Caleb Williams. And the reason being, I don't think their franchises are going to be good enough to garner them the recognition they deserve at the quarterback level. I think Malik Neighbors is going to have one of the best seasons for a receiver as a rookie since OBJ. And that's not because of Daniel Jones. That's not because of the success the team will have. That's just because that's how good he is. Um, And so I think compared when you take Malik neighbors and put him and he will probably have a top 10 or 15 season as a receiver. And then you compare the seasons, Caleb Williams or Bo Nix or Jaden Daniels may have compared to the rest of the quarterback pool. They're not going to look nearly as impressive as what Malik neighbors would be able to put up. And the biggest reason being, there's nobody else for Daniel Jones to throw the ball to. There's literally not a single other, there's not a single other qualified offensive weapon. So even if Daniel Jones throws them the ball 15 times and misses, Five of those ten, five of those fifteen times, it's still going to be a very productive relationship because he's the clear he's one. Ten of them, fifteen. He might. Oh shit! No, I don't hate that because it's precedent. MJ has acknowledged. Hey, OBJ won it in two thousand fourteen. There's a wide receiver Giants player who's won offense rookie of the year. That's the precedent set, so it's not a bad bet. But I actually have Malik Neighbors on two of my fantasies. I took a risk on him. I think he's going to pay out for the Giants. I hope he does. I, I hate when pe- people waste their first round Three draft picks on right, crap. Receiver in Chicago for Caleb Williams to throw the ball to. Two of which will have 1,000 yards received. One will have 800 with a tight end. That's also getting about 650, 700 yards receiving. And then I'll have okay. Connor do a whole segment about how it was a career year for Cole Komet. Me? Oh, yeah. I'm not the one that was in that <laughs> argument. <laughs> I forgot about that. was that you and Bruce. Why are you throwing me under the bus? <laughs> more fun than was Bruce under the bus. Okay, Bruce, who's your Bears defensive rookie of the year? Ah, oh, Jesus. That's, <laughs> yeah. That's honestly the one that I've been kind of fucking. You know what? I'm going to do it. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Grab the guy. Do Grab it. who? Nope. Nope. Do it. I want to be stupid, and I want to say I, because I, I, like I actually put in. All right. So before I like say anything, I want to actually tell about the bet that I put in for defensive rookie of the year. I want to make sure I get this correct. All right. So defensive rookie of the year, I actually have a bet, and oh, it's not there anymore. No. Ah, uh, so I had a bet uh, for Austin Booker to win. Uh, oh, my uh, gosh. I did. I did. Just because I was, like, wanting to just dick around and be like, you know what? Whatever. Let's have some fun. Okay. So, that being said, I don't want to do Latu because everyone's going to do a Latu. I don't like that pick. I think he's going to be injured like Anthony Richardson. Oh, boy. He's Ooh. very injury prone. He was injured in college. He was injured at the Senior Bowl. What makes you think he's not going to be injured in the NFL? He was the first rookie taken off the board, though, so you got to take that into consideration. 
He was the first rookie taken off the board. He was well, the defensively. No, he was the first. He was the number one overall pick. When did that Excuse happen, me. I thought that was understood. Sorry. Mm-hmm. All right, let's do this. I'm going to do it. Dallas Turner. Uh, whatever. Let's go with some Alabama love. Dallas Turner uh, with the yeah. Vikings. Vikings. Uh, they need somebody to do well on that defense. Their defense isn't very good. Um, honestly, them losing JJ McCarthy too offensively, they're going to be the defense is going to be on the field a lot. Um, I do like uh, Justin Jefferson. I do like uh, yeah. I just yeah, I'm just going to go. I'm going to go with that. I'm just going just to go with that. I, I just pulling me pulling out of my ass right there. I'm not going to lie, guys. I I mean I appreciate the honesty. Um, I'm going to go with somebody who's actually going to get burned what? for 60 minutes tomorrow. And then they'll have a great 16 games after that. I'm going to go with Quinion Mitchell. Ooh, uh, ah, are you, that's a good pick. Who dominated the Senior Bowl, um, has some of the best man-to-man. Why is Taylor Swift on my screen? Nobody gives a rip. Because she's wearing a push-up bra. <laughs> Stupid little – yeah, because she's got nothing going on, just like her relationship with Travis Kelsey. Dear Gone. goodness. All, all I have to say – oh, 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 go. Go. Okay. Um, what? Quinion Mitchell has some of the best man-to-man coverage that I have seen um, in a long time oh. out of a rookie DB. I think he is going to be somebody in that Patrick Sertain conversation in the next couple of years. I love him in the Eagles defense. I love what he's going to be able to do with a very good defensive front in Philly. Um, I think he gets burned tomorrow night by the Packers, and then he has a great 16 games after that wins. Defensive rookie of the year. Dude, the Chiefs offense is just insanely fast. Yeah, this is this is like nobody's beating this. Nobody's and Isaiah Pacheco's only getting screen passes. Like all all the homes do is throwing slants. So it's throwing slants and screens. He's literally doing the Madden slants glitch, but in the NFL on primetime in opening week. Oh my gosh. Did they just have Roquan on Rashi Rashi Rice? No wonder that went poorly. Yeah, it's like the Packers like lining up Preston Smith on Justin Jefferson. Oh, hey, don't you talk about Preston Smith like that. He's he's an edge. He's not a DB. Yeah, but he went to Mississippi State. Couldn't care less. Like uh, if caring is up here, <laughs> and I'm on the second floor of an apartment building, Mississippi Ooh. State anything is on the ground level. Well, I care, but I also care about Offensive Player of the Year. So keep in mind, if Offensive Player of the Year shares the award with MVP, you know, we can have an MVP be an Offensive Player of the Year. I would advise you not to spoil I'm not your sure MVP. It's, so it's not, I'm not, I'm I would not hope sure. you say a different player. It almost never shared. What are you talking about? It gets shared a lot. It's when was the last time it got shared? Probably Patrick Mahomes. What year? Oh. No, his. I want to say his first MVP. Possibly, I I'd so. have to look that up. But offensive, can... work, offensive player of the year. I'm gonna go with Tariq Hill. Uh, upside, like he's going to just dominate like always. Hopefully, they uh, his injury. He, he he reassured all the fantasy owners that everything's gonna be okay. I don't know if you guys saw that press conference or that uh, little clip from the press. Conference. It was kind of funny. But uh, Terry Kill, I'm going to say, is the offensive uh, player of the year. That was 1,400 yards receiving. 1,400 yards receiving, I'm going with. No, nah, more than that. 1,600 yards receiving. Boom. Okay, MJ. It's on you. I'll get offensive. that stat for you. Offensive play. Wait, who'd you say, Bruce? Terry Kill. Terry Kill. Offensive Bro, player of the year. I was dead on the money. Pat no, you were. I saw MVP. that. You were. <laughs> oh, I already said it. I already said it earlier. Offensive player of the year is Derrick Henry. I think I he's going to say that. Up. I did say that. I did. And I got to back that up. Offensive player of the year is going to be Derrick Henry. I think the combination they will have in Baltimore is going to be lethal. I've already seen it in the first quarter of this game. It is impossible to read on on the defensive side that read option between those Ladies two. Ladies and gentlemen, Andre, all right, so sorry to interrupt you. 
take that bet right now. If you if you believe in MJ right now, take that bet on DraftKings because right now it's at plus thousand. Yeah. Yeah, take that. <laughs> yeah. So I, I like it. Mine's mine's not as good. Mine's like plus seven hundred across the board. Seven fifty on FanDuel. Okay, Ooh. what about your um your betting margins for uh, defensive player of the year? We got twelve minutes. Uh, Micah Parsons. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with Micah Parsons because uh, dude's an absolute freaking beast, and uh, a lot of people are hating on Dallas, and I understand why they're hating on them, but uh, Diggs comes back this year, and uh, yeah, let's go with that. Now, does he get a contract? No, because he's going to go to the Bears. Okay, <laughs> Jay. <laughs> Does who get a contract? Micah Parsons, and he said no because he's going to the Bears. <laughs> okay. I also, agree. I also agree with the Depoy. He does get a contract. Perfect. Now, y'all just spared um, 11 minutes for your MVP rants. Oh, what about Wait. what about coach of the year, bro? We gotta get coach of the year too. Okay, you need coach of the year first. You need coach of the year first. Matt, Matt Eberflus, dude. You know why, <laughs> Kenny? I, hear, I see you in the background because he's gonna end up leading the Chicago Bears to a ten and seven season, causing and a playoff berth, first one since twenty twenty. Called it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get after it. Eberflus is the truth. There's a lot of comparisons between him and Lovey Smith now. That's going around. A lot of the players believe him. The things that he's doing, get after it. Matt Eberflus, the uh, coach of the year, which means honestly means absolutely jack shit because Matt Matt Nagy won it too. <laughs> MJ, it's not Eberflus. Um, I have a hard time with this. Um, Agreed. I don't, think, I don't think there's going to be a lot of surprising teams this year. That's generally who it goes to. I'll go Sean McVay with the Rams. I think they're going to have a very good season. I think they they probably won't. Are oh, you covering that? Boo. So that doesn't. Yeah, and that that's why I know that I like their team, and I think they're going to do a very good job. I think it'll be a little bit of a surprise. Um, yeah, I, th- I like I like Sean McVay. I think they'll at least get a wild card, if not win the division. If the 49ers slip at all, the Rams are going to be sitting there waiting. Ooh, okay, so not, I like that. Not Dennis Allen? What are we doing here? No. No? <laughs> just kidding. I'm no. just kidding. No, no. Okay, MVP, you got 10 minutes. Take as long as you want, Bruce. I don't know if you've actually thought of this or – wanted to rant but that is what this uh video's title is and it will be the title of a video that i make uh, in well, later date I, so wait real so quick though. So, no real quick we had uh the cover we had the cover of our uh our show tonight being uh the man the myth the legend legend excuse me himself Aaron Rodgers as the MVP, Connor. So I want to hear nice. I, w- I want to hear your. I want to hear your reasoning behind that before, uh, not or after I talk about this. All right. So Ravens better recover that. Hold on. Ah, oh, shit. Whatever. All right. So all right, we're gonna sit back here for a second, boys. Lean back a little bit. All right. All right. So I have, two, I have two picks, okay? I have the pick that I actually do think is going to be the MVP, and I have the pick that's a good a good long shot to win MVP. I, they're kind of tied, too. There's two that are the long shots that are kind of tied. Okay. We're not going to be long about this. So I had a repeat of last year uh, being in the Super Bowl, talking about that last week. It would be the uh, Chiefs versus 49ers in the Super Bowl with the Chiefs winning it. All right, you have the best quarterback in the NFL. All right, best quarterback in the NFL, best uh, potentially best quarterback of all time. Are we serious right now? We're doing Wildcat with a fake reverse to Mahomes. That was somehow worked okay. Um, that being said, I'm going to stick with Mahomes as my for sure my for sure pick 
as the MVP of the league this year because I do think that uh, he will solidify another well, – just a solid year. All right, so – God, I can't believe I'm going to say this. All right, so my two long shots, though, for MVP, uh, one, of, one of which is Joe Burrow because I, I just – I love Joe Burrow. I, I think he's going to have a year he's finally healthy, completely healthy. He doesn't have that nagging injury anymore. While Jamar Chase did hold out, uh, okay, whatever. He's back. He's good. We still have T. Higgins. Like it, I say we, but um, I think Joe Burrow would be a solid, solid second choice for a decent. Hold on, let me look it, look it up. Th- uh, plus one thousand, and he dropped it. Wow, another drop pass. Um, I can't believe he dropped that. Yeah, same. Mahomes d- dealt with it all year last year. All right, and finally. My freaking surprise pick potentially for MVP, which would be a good run, would be Jordan Love. All right, hear me out. Pump the brakes, MJ. I know right now you're getting hard. All right, the only reason why I'm saying <laughs> I know I'm I'm put I've, I've been putting a lot of glaze toward uh, the Packers uh, the past few weeks, haven't I? Hear Talk to him, Bruce. Talk to him, baby. No, but hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. Oh, and- I'm listening. I, I do talk a lot of shit about how okay Jordan Love only had what six games of eight. of re- relevancy that made him or eight games maybe eight games that uh, made him go off. But um, the dude's got an arm. He's got an arm. He's got a cannon for an arm. And um, I, I just really hope it's going to be a two team division or two team division for a little bit now because I think it could be some fun stuff going on in the NFC North. Uh, all right, so uh, the Bears aside, um, what you want from your quarterback, and we saw it with Patrick Mahomes, is you want him to make your receivers better around you. Now, I'm sorry, MJ. I, I think you can admit this. The receivers on the Chicago Bears are better than the receivers in Green Bay. If you put those the receivers from Chicago in Green Bay, holy shit. Okay, but I digress. Jordan Love made people around him better. And that's what you want to see. And that's what Patrick Mahomes does. All right. So a good long shot would be Jordan Love as MVP this year. Kind of stole all my argument. Um, <laughs> honestly, I, I have like a list in my head. Like there's so many. Obviously, Patrick Mahomes is a pick. Um, I don't think Josh Allen wins it. That's an incomplete pass. Um, and then I don't think Josh Allen wins it. I think Joe Burrow's a great candidate. I think Matthew Stafford, you know, I talked about it earlier. I think they'll have a really good year. I think Matthew oh, Stafford is a sneaky top three. Um, I think Love Agreed. and good Stroud, call. I think Love and Stroud both have a chance if they can do. I don't do think, think CJ Stroud has good of a year this year as he did last year. I think it will be interesting to see them spread the wealth among all those wide receivers. That will be my biggest concern. Um, I I just, again, I hesitate to pick Green Bay just because they are still the youngest team in the NFL. And in order for Jordan Love to win an MVP, they really need to win the division. And they re- like, and I think it's possible. I'm not going to stamp my approval on it. I still think the Lions probably win the division. They're a more veteran team, a more put together team at this point in time. My pick. That was my division pick, dog. But also at this point last year, nobody thought the Packers could do anything. Went out, got a wild card, almost made it to the NFC Championship game. So I think there's a lot of potential there. Um, if you're looking for some value picks, I think Jordan Love and Matthew Stafford would be some great value picks for yep. MVP. So who's your number one, though? Honestly, Lamar. Wow. So you're going Lamar Jackson, MVP, and uh, Derrick Henry, Offensive Player of the Year? Yeah. So who'd you have in the Super Bowl? I think the, the Ravens. I have the Ravens. Okay. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Then. I have Ravens Packers was my Super Bowl. Oh, shit. If the Ra- Packers make the Super Bowl, Jordan Love makes it as an MVP. Maybe. Maybe. But he like he's not gonna have the rushing touchdowns. I think Josh Jacobs takes up a bunch of touchdowns this year. I think he gets ten to twelve and takes away a chunk that wasn't available to the running backs last year because Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon had such a bad. It'll be fun. It'll be fun to see the Chicago Bears again 
against the Green Bay Packers in the NFC Championship. Do I think it's going to happen? No. But it would be fun to see. It would be very fun to see. Now, I kind of want to comment not- on your picks, though. If you don't mind, with the little bit of time we have left, actually, you know, bring in Kenny because I want Kenny's. I want Kenny. Kenny, Kenny you cool coming in right now? He said okay. All right, work. What's up, fellas? Kenny, what you got wearing hey. tonight? Uh, the little Penn State Saquon Barkley. Oh, oh, that's hot. Yes, sir. All right, go ahead, Connor. What you got? But I kind of want to comment on your picks. I don't think it'll be Patrick Mahomes. And that's because he has not had a lot of success when a new wide receiver regime has come in. He virtually has a whole new wide receiver core. Hasn't had found a lot of success when that happens. First time one, he had Tyreek Kill. Second time he won, he had a lot of the same uh, offensive benefactors. So Patrick Mahomes is out for my opinion. Joe Burrow, until he can play a full season, I cannot bet on Joe Burrow to win the MVP. And so it leaves a couple of I don't I I'm not gonna pick Lamar Jackson because no Jordan they have Derrick Henry Jordan y'all we all think Derrick Henry is gonna take a lot of the offensive production and that's fine so Lamar Jackson's out for me do I think Dak Prescott will win MVP of course <laughs> oh my god hilarious. hold up hold up hold up hold up the answer is no. Until I see, although he got second place last year, until I see more people vote for him as a regular season candidate for MVP, that's when I will vote vote for Dak Prescott. So there's a lot of precedent set here. Lamar did win MVP his second year in the NFL, so C.J. Stroud could be considered. I don't even know what I'm thinking right now. So your 2024 NFL MVP is... Not Aaron Rodgers. I'm not going to vote again. I'm not going to vote against Rodgers. I put that up there to make MJ uh, give him a little rant sesh. Rich Gannon did win MVP back in 2002 at 36 years old. So we do have that right there. Yeah, he was a stud for the Raiders. And he was a stud. He He took him to the Super Bowl, too. Exactly. Do I think Aaron Rodgers can do it? I don't know. I haven't seen him play in the Jets uniform besides four snaps. Honestly. He's playing on a field that's going to cause him to tear another truck in seven seconds. If I had to pick right now, and y'all are going to call me the biggest glazer, my pick would be C.J. Stroud. Not one. And, and there's precedent here. Lamar Jackson has won it the second year in the NFL. So to say somebody cannot win it their second year is wrong because we've seen it before. C.J. Stroud has another. He the ball too, though. He also, that year at the time, he had like the second he most run. rushing yards from a running sure. back. Sure. But C.J. Stroud also He's had sure. like a top three rookie quarterback season ever. So we also have to take that into consideration. And you can only get better from there, right? Oh, my God. Once you add Stefan Dick, can you – is that safe to say? Can we only gonna, get better from I, it? I, I will take it. All right. We're going to say this live, and I'm going to say it right here, right now. Oh, Kenny, you probably want to jump in on this too. Caleb Williams will have a better year than C.J. Stroud this year. Wake up. Okay. Uh, no. What? <laughs> uh, first of all, I do believe in sophomore slumps, so it is reasonable to think that C.J. Stroud takes a minor step back, but I feel like the Texans have put enough around him to bolster and progress forward. I think C.J. Stroud wins the MVP. I think he has a way better wow. year than Caleb Williams. I think the Bears are going to end up not impressing as many people think that they will. I, oh I my god! That. I can't wait for you to be wrong, and I can't wait to let it all. I can't wait for me to be wrong. I can't. Wait Kenny and I agree wrong. on something. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is that offense is still very much the same. You have some new weapons, but the play calling hasn't changed a whole lot, in my opinion. So, how's the play wrong. Call- no, I wrong. How many how many wide receiver screens have you seen this preseason? That's preseason, though. We don't know what they're actually oh, going to get to. Well, oh, then you can use the same argument you just said. Bruce, if we were talking preseason, Caleb Williams would be last in offensive rookie of the year voting. Did you see how uh, crappy he played? So don't even pull that preseason card. Hey, Patrick Mahomes played like doo doo this pre this preseason too. You could say a lot of people did. Preseason doesn't matter. Thank you. Boom. 